Good morning. I'm going to show you today how you can add awesome sliders to the WooCommerce storefront theme. We're going to be using a plugin called Storefront Pro, which we've built over at poodlepress.com. And it does many things, Storefront Pro, but one of the cool things it lets you do is add sliders to your homepage. And we're seeing some examples here moving in front of us. Uh, so there are different types of sliders that you can add. This one that we're seeing at the moment is just a traditional slider with an image, um, some text and a button, that's the first type. And the second type is one like this where you can actually show uh, some of your featured products. So you can actually display your featured products directly on the home page like this and they'll automatically uh, move across the screen. And then the third type here is if you just want a static photo, you can also do, do that. Um, and then the fourth type, you can also have stunning videos as well. So there are four types of sliders that you can add right on the home page. I'm going to show you how to add them. It's very, very simple, no coding whatsoever needed. Here we go. Okay, so I'm going to show you how you add the sliders, but also I'm going to show you some of the options that you get in terms of how you can customize them. It's all done through the customize option up here. Uh, so you just click on that and that'll open up the options. Now with Storefront Pro, we've built a whole bunch of extra options into the customizer that let you customize the design. The slider options are to be found by first clicking on header and navigation, and then you click on header type. And then in here, these are the different types of headers um, all arranged at the top here. So that it'll, by default, that one will be selected, which is the normal uh, WooCommerce header. So nothing in essence. You can select featured image as well. And that's going to bring the featured image if you have one within uh, the page. So in the edit page screen, you can actually add a featured image. If you do that, it's going to bring that image in for you. This is the slider one. I'm going to spend a bit more time on this one. So this is the one I've already set up. So let me just talk you through some of the cool options that you get with this. So you just select slider. Now the first thing you probably want to do when you've done that is to scroll down here and you'll see a section down here that says slide one image. This is where you add the photos basically. So <clears throat> excuse me, you just choose the photo um, from your media library. So let me just choose a uh, different one. He's fun. Let me choose him. And that becomes the main background image, like so. Uh, then this is where you put your title, and this is where you put your um, your subtitle. So let me just type some text in here. You get the idea. Uh, you can also have a button if you want to. You don't have to have a button. If you don't put any text in there, the button won't appear. Uh, but you put you can put your own button text in and then underneath there you'll see there's just a place where you can put a link so that link is where you want that button to go to after somebody has clicked on it okay and then that's how you add the first one and you see it just happens automatically for you and then that's where you add your second one and we've added up to um, five that you can add in so you can have a total of five slides which um, it's probably enough for most people to sit there and watch five slides. Okay, so that's how you add the actual slides themselves and the buttons. And then up here, uh, we've added some options for you to customize um, the slider itself. So the first thing to say is you've got this, this option here. That'll change the height of the slider so you can change it up or down. So if you want a narrower banner or a wider banner, uh, this little icon here just resets it to the default height. Um, let's put that down a bit. You get the idea. This one's really useful. This is the um, the height that you want it to appear on a mobile. Okay, so which is really really useful. So if you do actually, let me go into mobile mode. Um, if you reduce that, then you'll see more of the photo essentially. So um, you can you can have a separate mobile height to the um, you can have a higher height to your mobile height, which means it won't crop on mobile as well. Uh, we've got another cool option here, which is this one here. So home hero. Position. So what that means is you can actually put it behind the header and what that'll do, it'll create this beautiful uh, effect where the, the picture actually goes behind your menus along the top here, which is really stunning. In fact, that's that's the default position when you first start using um, the header type. That's where it'll appear. Okay, so you can have this really nice sort of full screen uh, website. And down here, so those are the main headings in terms of the size and where the position of it. And then down here, we've got some other options uh, like the size of the font, for example, and the font of um, the font family of the font. So you can change the font family just by choosing a font here. And you'll see how the fonts are now changed, the heading fonts changed. 
If I want to change the heading size, I can just use this little slider to make it bigger. That's quite cool, actually, isn't it? Quite like that. Um, and that's the text size under there as well. You can change as well, just like so. You get the idea. Um, so that's how you. That's the. That's the sort of normal slider, I'd say. This this option here. Then we've got. Um, these two options down here. So that's the video option. So if you select video, um, and then it will add a video. I'm not going to select video because it's going to auto play it. That'll select a video, uh, like um, the image you're seeing on the screen now, um, and change um, the video. There is just a field. This is where you put the link. So this supports Vimeo or YouTube, and you just pop the link in there, and then your video will will appear. Okay, that's so that's if you want that nice video. And then the final one is really cool. This is featured products. So that's going to display um, any featured products uh, that you've featured in WooCommerce. Let's make this a bit small. Um, and I'm just going to change this to below header, like so. So that, that'll, that'll pick up any featured products that you've actually added within WooCommerce. Now to feature a product in WooCommerce and make it appear here, you just feature it as you normally would in WooCommerce. Let me just show you this. So you go to products and to feature a product, you just click this little star over here. Okay, so if you click that little star, uh, that means that that product, once it's um, changed to a fill, uh, that product now will feature, there we go, feature right on the home page. So feature products are really cool because you can feature your products on this beautiful slider right on the home page. Um, so there you go. There's some options in terms of how to um, add some really, really cool sliders um, to your homepage if you're using Storefront. Uh, you can pick up a co copy of Storefront Pro over at Poodle Press. If you have any questions whatsoever, please just pop them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them. Thanks very much.